Exotic pets take all shapes and forms, and often the owners have an incredible and very special bond with their animals. And this is undeniably the case with Lisa. Oh, baby money. You see this little itty bitty baby, as cute as can be. But that little itty bitty baby is gonna tear you apart. At no point should you ever feel complacent with a monkey you've never met before. This monkey was only after the owner's camera, but it's an intense reminder this is a wild animal. If you buy a monkey, be prepared that you are gonna get attacked. Lisa and Mugwai have been friends for 24 years, a commitment that's incredibly rewarding, but also very demanding. Unless you're an educated monkey owner, you're in for a disaster. Every single monkey bites, and it's gonna bite you, no matter what you do. So, you know, a monkey has to be tamed, and then it can be trained. So it's a process that you have to go through. And it takes a lot of taming to become a good monkey. When you have a good monkey, it's easy to make new friends. But if your monkey is a little wild, it may bite strangers. Many vets will only examine a monkey when it's sedated to avoid any unwelcome wounds. When these animals hit six years old and start going through puberty, they can become wild, vicious, dangerous animals. You know, the training that they've often learned, the domestication they've learned at that early age, that pretty much goes out the window, and you're dealing with literally a whole different animal. Monkeys frequent the tourist circuit in Thailand, and they may seem super cute, but you always need to keep your guard up and pay attention to what may become aggressive behavior. Don't be deceived by their so-called friendly antics. These monkeys are wild. A lot of these animals carry diseases that are communicable to people. They're called zoonotic diseases. And a zoonotic disease is any disease that can be transferred from pet or animal to person. And some of the diseases are quite serious. Non-human primates carry herpes and monkeypox and Ebola. So again, if you don't know what you're doing, sanitation, care, so forth, then it's not something that you can take on or a family member or a friend who's visiting because the disease is now spread around your home. You have to step back and look at all that's involved, do your research and education, depending on the pet and what's involved. The take home here is never should it be taken lightly owning an exotic pet, regardless of the size or the species. We still have monkeys in the United States that are carrying disease. Probably only a third out of the 40,000 monkeys out there and growing each and every day, they are not vaccinated. We've been vaccinating these monkeys for years and years and years. And we do a serology test to screen everything that imaginable that they could possibly have. This isn't a pet for someone keen on owning a low maintenance animal. Monkeys can be a handful. She's very calm though. She'll sit and she'll watch a movie with you, have some popcorn. She doesn't get into a lot of things. She used to when she was uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> so over the age of of 12 to 13, then they really start to be a part of your life. Capuchin monkeys reach maturity around five years, at which point their personality can become even more demanding and potentially aggressive. If you're the prime carer, you really need a lot of training to make sure the relationship stays on track. She is eight pounds. So that eight pounds coming at you full force, that's a lot of monkey there. Really, seriously, it's a lot of monkey. She's, she's strong. A monkey on the attack is a situation to be avoided at all costs. However, for Lisa, this inherent wild animal instinct saved her life. They're very smart, yes. I was attacked. I came home from work and I was attacked in my garage and my monkey saved my life. A man had grabbed me from behind. Inside my house, on the second floor, they have their two monkey rooms. 
And if it wasn't for all four of them that came downstairs and attacked him, I, I probably wouldn't be alive today. All I gotta do is give her one sign. And it's uh, she becomes the wild animal that everyone sees. I love her to pieces. We are two people that are inseparable. Capuchins are most notably renowned as pets of organ grinders and were in fact introduced as exotic pets from their home territories of Central and Northern South America. These mischievous rascals certainly kept the audience entertained. Plus, they had the ability to carry a cup around to collect money. From this, their popularity grew for those wanting an unusual pet. There's pros and cons where exotic pets are concerned because the, our biggest problem is the caretakers and owners that own them don't have the education that they need. Lisa has trained around three to 4,000 monkeys, often referred to as the monkey whisperer. Lisa is the go-to person if your monkey is misbehaving. When I take her to train other monkeys, she helps. And you know, it's great for the other monkeys to see that they can actually be loved, that they can be touched without being hurt, or, you know, the mistakes that these owners make by using gloves and using weapons and the shock collars and things like that. I mean, it's still going on today. Owning a monkey is a commitment for up to 30 years or more. While capuchins are the most intelligent of the New World monkeys, in the human world, they are like toddlers. But that's how naive these people are. They think that they're humans and they can treat them as humans, but they're wild animals. They have to have a habitat, not a little tiny birdcage, a habitat, so they can be free. They can jump, they can climb, they can do, they have things to do all the time. Muggy's surrounded by so many. You know, they need their own kind to be able to communicate, to socialize, to groom each other. That is a healthy animal in captivity. I have a huge facility. A lot of people have come to my door and dropped their monkeys off. A lot of them came that way. And all the monkeys that are there have either been injured, they've been rescued, or they've been dropped off. You have to be a very experienced person to have a primate. It's a huge responsibility. I do believe that any of the larger monkeys should not be kept as, quote, pets. But I do not call them pets, I call them companions. These devoted companions may need a lot of ongoing training, but just like humans, they are always capable of a little monkey business. I studied animals, I studied monkeys, their data, the brain waves, their anatomy. And because they're so human, you open her up, she's just like me. You know, so it's so beautiful, a creature that can do anything that we can do. I mean, she started my van and her and Madeline ran it into my house in the garage. So this is how smart they really are. You know, you cannot turn your back. Mugwai may be a troublemaker at times, but she also knows when to be well-behaved, especially when there's the opportunity to go toy shopping for her birthday. But first, a quick sketch as a thank you gift. After all, Muggy's a very polite little monkey and doesn't want to turn up to any event empty-handed. Her name is Mugwai. Mugwai. Hi, Mugwai. Happy birthday. She'll be 24. Oh, 24, wow. that's amazing. What? This is for you. She painted it. Oh, are you kidding me? That is awesome. <laughs> Outstanding. Oh, cool. nice. Thank you. That is really cool. She painted it. Ron may not have a monkey in his store every day, but he's certainly keen to help Muggy find the best present she's ever had. Yeah, we're good. That's a shopping. <laughs> you like that one? No, no interest in that one. No? Okay. No. When it comes to shopping, Muggy is a girl who knows what she wants and certainly loves all the attention. Hey! Want to check it out? Come here. Come here. Oh, Aww, look at the little princess in her chair. <laughs> look at you are. Look how cute. <laughs> you got a chair. You ready? Come on. 
Let's go. Alright. You have something like this? Try as she might, Muggy's not listening to Ron's sales pitch for these toys. Up! Let's go! Up, up! Alright. Right here, it's like a little Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> what do you think, sweetie? Oh my goodness! Looks like Ron has finally ticked all the boxes. Seeker Yellow doesn't seem to hold as much appeal. However, the scooter looks like fun. Okay, hang on. Gotta just rip up us? Ready? Mm. You gotta steer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> After all that adventure, it's time for a quick pit stop. Nerds are your favorite? <gasps> oh. What do you think of those, baby? Her ultimate favorite candy. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. Her the texture and the yeah, yeah. creation and everything. I got a few more for you, Bubba. There's a lot of controversy oh, yeah. about owning a monkey. Not all monkeys have a great reputation. And many certainly aren't as well behaved as Mugwot. But it seems the key is all about good parenting. All right, sweetie, your total is $64.94. You see it right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be for your new car, your new Jeep. What do you think about that? You going to be a journey girl? You can go on journeys with mama? <laughs> Yum yums. It comes down to how well they are taken care of, and that is the big picture. I get judged every single day, but what it comes down to, when they lose control of that monkey, who do they call? You can call me names, you can say whatever you want to say, but at the end, you're going to be begging for my help. You know, and and am I going to turn that person away because they were, they were crappy to me? No, no, I'm going to help because it, it does not matter. I don't care about them. I care about those animals. That's what really matters to me. Ah.